name's James Denton and I'm the sales manager at JME Advanced Inspection Systems. What I'm going to do today is to provide you with a brief overview of JME's real-time radiography solution, the Digital X-Ray Buggy. In this session, we'll cover an overview of components, we'll look at deployment of the system on the pipe, and also we'll cover the general operation of the system. So let's have a look in a little more detail at the components that make up the DXP system. At the very front of the unit here, you can see the digital panel. This is a 100 micron digital panel, which is capable of capturing image in line with ISO class A and class B, as well as all recognised ASME standards. Moving back, you can see two small black antennas. These antennas facilitate communication with the control pad unit, which the operator uses to interact with the system. On the side of the unit, there are four magnetic wheels which secure the system to the pipe. These magnetic wheels are permanent full-time magnets. These aren't electromagnets. So in the event of a power cut, or the event the user needs to change the battery, the unit won't fall from the pipe. At the rear, you have a small black module. This is a GPS antenna. When an image is captured with the DXV, that image is tagged with the precise GPS coordinates within the Dicondi information associated with the file. At the rear, you have a larger black antenna. This antenna communicates with JME's CR2.14 range. Using this connection and the control tablet for the DXV, the operator can adjust all settings associated with JME's CR2.14. That includes X-ray settings such as the KB, the MA, and also the exposure time. In addition to the DXB unit itself, the system is also supplied with the control tablet. This is a fully fledged Windows 10 based PC. It has all of the standard connectivity associated with the PC, including an HDMI out, the USB connections, as well as Wi-Fi in order to remove images from it and potentially transmit them to a remote location. The system is also supplied with a RAID configured hard drive. This is a requirement of some standards in terms of the image backup. Now let's have a look at how the system is deployed onto the pipe. So deployment of the system is very quick and very simple. You simply pick the buggy up, place it on the pipe with the rear wheels first, and then allow the front wheels to connect. From there, it's simply a case of adjusting the detector panel to a preset distance from the pipe surface and then locking that into location. So deployment of the system takes merely seconds. Removing the system is also as simple. Simply unlock the panel, move it to its flat location, lock the panel again, the magnetic field connecting the buggy to the pipe can then be broken by using the handles and the system is simply removed and you're on to the next weld. So deployment and moving from one weld to the next really is simple with this system. Operation of the system is also a very simple procedure. Initially the operator needs to populate all of the Dicondi information which is to be associated with the captured images. This can either be done on the controlled pad itself or alternatively can be done prior to the start of the job and then uploaded to the control pad using a USB device. Once this information is contained within the system, the operator simply goes to operation and then image acquisition. Prior to this, the crawler will have been positioned underneath the weld and the operator selects save and continue. At this point, you need to prepare the system for X-ray. This tells the crawler that we're about to initiate an X-ray. And then you're invited to start the process. When you press start process, the crawler will go into its pre-warning phase and then commence an X-ray exposure. When the system starts to capture, it will wait for the X-ray to ramp up to the full KV and then it will start capturing its images. I'll show you that process now. So this is the pre-warning phase, your operator is notified via the audible warning and then the x-rays will start. The system will now just wait for the x-ray to ramp up to their full potential KV prior to beginning to capture the images.
once the image capture is complete, all of the images are stitched together and displayed along the bottom of the control pad as one continuous image. A section of the image is displayed on the top section of the screen. This image can then be reviewed either using the control pad software itself or can be exported to a third party PC for full assessment and review. Thank you for taking the time to watch this overview video, we really appreciate it. If you'd like more details on the DXB system or you'd like to arrange your own personal one-to-one -one video demonstration, feel free to contact JME's sales team on the email address shown on the screen.